Hi, my name is Sharon Nelson, HR manager responsible for talent acquisition with the City of Columbia. Talent in the City is our effort to highlight and showcase the departments with the City of Columbia, the department's impact players, as well as the talent who make the city run every single day. These impact players and departments oftentimes don't get the spotlight that they deserve, but without them, the city of Columbia would not run as a beautifully oiled machine that it is. I am Felicia Kilgore, Director of Community Development. So Community Development, uh, our mission is to um, provide assistance um, for local citizens to improve their way of living with housing, improving local economy for growth. Um, and we do that by administering federal dollars uh, from federal, state, as well as local dollars to provide various activities uh, to assist residents in the City of Columbia. And we work with um, many nonprofit organizations, as well as uh, some internal departments with the city uh, to administer those dollars to uh, provide assistance to improving parks, building new parks, providing equipment, uh, when working with our um, um, City of Columbia departments, uh, Parks and Recs, those areas. Uh, and again, we work with nonprofits to provide funding to carry out uh, many activities within those particular organizations to provide services from um, assisting homelessness uh, to um, provide educational um, programs to, um, to help low to moderate income individuals as well to find jobs. Um, to assist individuals may be transitioning from being incarcerated uh, that may need some assistance to get them back into the realm of, uh, of living more independently. Uh, so we administer those, those dollars to ensure that those funds are used within the guidelines um, of, of HUD, which is essentially where those dollars are actually coming from. So the education requirement, um, you know, generally all of our position requires um, a college educated degree. Um, many times on working with our federal programs, we, we are seeking um, in, individuals who have some federal um, background, some federal experience, some federal knowledge <laughs> of, of the programs um, as relates to uh, work with HUD dollars. So they have a great understanding of the requirements, the responsibilities that we have as we administer those those, those dollars to support those various activities. However, um, we have had an opportunity to whereas, um, you know, if they had some other type of experience where they work with low-income individuals and families, um, you know, we will also look into those particular individuals as well, and we will help them learn, um, provide educational training, uh, on the federal side so that they can become more familiar with those federal programs that we administer. Uh, my name is Abby Robertson and I am a QAQC program compliance specialist. I went to school in Florida for environmental um, science um, and then I switched to environmental studies and public management so I've kind of always loved um, environmental. Um, I love to be like in nature and everything like that and so environmental reviews was kind of something that brought me in here and I was really interested in it. Uh, I worked for the South Carolina Emergency Management Division before I worked here, that was my first job, um, writing the state hazard mitigation plan. So I kind of went from there to um, learning more about HUD grants. Um, so having that FEMA background and then working with federal grants there and then having a HUD background, um, I really saw the benefit in having both of those and I was really interested in it. So I actually just started this past summer. Um, I started working here in August. I wanna say like early August. So not very long, but I've loved it so far. I'm the program manager of housing. So my role is to manage all of our housing programs for community development, which are the housing loan programs that we have. Um, we also do rehabilitation and we also do um, affordable housing development. I've been with the City of Columbia a little over two years now. Um, previously, I worked at Richmond County um, doing the same kind of work. Um, also, I worked in building inspections, so I have a background in building, um, so construction, building, and community development. 
and I um, started doing community development about 2008 when I lived in Illinois actually so I worked in community development so I started learning about the HUD um, funded programs um, how the money's used the programs that it used and then I have a passion for helping low to moderate income um, become homeowners the rehabilitation side and the financial literacy that we offer and teaching people about building wealth. So um, since I've been here, we've helped um, like about five or six people purchase homes. Um, two of those people are actually um, city employees um, and they're first time home buyers, first generation home owners as well. And that is the, what drives my passion. I love to see that. Um, because, you know, for me, when I became a homeowner, it was a struggle. Because, one, I didn't have the education, so I didn't understand credit. I didn't understand the process. So I had to learn it on my own. I didn't know about different programs like we have and that, that's out there to help people become homeowners. Um, and throughout my career, you know, even in Richland County and the other places that I've worked, just watching people become homeowners, young um, parents, families purchasing their first home, the joy that they have. Sometimes people still say, hey, Miss Baz, you helped me purchase my first home. I'm just in a grocery store. And people come up to me um, that I've worked with in the past, and I say, so are you still there? And they say, yeah, we love it. You know, that's what really drives me. For more information about this position and its department, please visit www.columbiasc.gov.